I'm on Martin Falls. We continue with the week in review moving into Tuesday. And certainly, uh, what a Tuesday it was. An historic vote in the House of Representatives as Terrebonne bon Parish and all of the House involved. It was a minority judgeship district that was proposed by State Representative Damon Baldone and State Representative Honore. And what it would have done was created a minority district in Terrebonne Parish with uh, about 9,000 voters to vote on a judgeship. And what it was trying to do was create a atmosphere where a black judge could get elected to a judgeship in Terrebonne Parish. Of course, some proponents of the bill said a black judge would never be elected under the uh, certain circumstances the way it is currently, but then the opponents of the bill said that if the right candidate ran, they could be elected in Terrebonne Parish in an at-large uh, basis. So with that said, we go to the House floor where State Representative Damon Baldon introduced the bill which he was trying to push through. That bill was defeated, of course, 51 to 40, but it did spark a lot of talk on both sides. As you know, uh, we were only filed, uh, able to file five, five bills this session because of the uh, fiscal session. Uh, I committed my last bill that I had saved for this bill to try to put Terrible and Lafouche back together when we got split up in the reapportionment. Um, currently, there are five judges in Terrebonne Parish. We don't change that. We're not adding a judicial district. We're just changing the makeup of the judicial districts. Um, again, so it doesn't create an extra judgeship. does not cost a dime. Um, uh, this bill creates two election sections, uh, I mean, a minority section and a, another section, and then three at-large sections, which is the whole parish. Uh, we did it that way because the committee thought that would be the fairest way to handle this. That way, uh, four, there are five judges, but every member, every uh, voter of Terrebonne Parish was allowed to vote for four of the five. Uh, some, some jurisdictions, it's, it's, it's worse than that. They only vote for two of the nine or two or three of the 12. So uh, the committee thought that was the best. What we're trying to avert is create a division within our, our parish. Our council retracted, many of them, in saying in their support, for not understanding exactly where we were going, nor informing the judges or many of the associations that would like to participate in this process. So what I'm asking is that we need to review this, we need to put this in proper order so that we do get the support and make sure that everyone feels that they had a place at the table to understand how we can move this forward in a proper manner. And I therefore respectfully ask you to not vote for this bill at this point in time. We are, with this bill, we're circumvent, circumventing the judicial branch through, by, by not allowing the judicial council of, of the Supreme Court to weigh in on this matter. And with that, I, and with that, I, I ask that, I mean, this thing is breaking us up into three sub-districts, and it, 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 it doesn't make any sense on one of the sub-districts, and that's another reason a lot of people are against it. And uh, so with this, I do ask you to please vote against this House Bill 582, and I thank you very, very much. The public had every opportunity. This is not something that was just brought overnight. This bill has been argued about for 12 years in our area. Uh, we finally got some consensus. They had it right to be here. They have a chance to, to voice their opinion in committee. Forty people showed up in support, not one in opposition. I want them to come in opposition. I want them to have their voice. That's why we're here. That's why I'm here. Let them come to the Senate. Let them say if they're for the bill. Let them say if they're against the bill. It's all about a voice. I want them to speak at the Senate. I want them to be heard for or against the bill. That's why this bill is here. So these people have a voice. It's time for African Americans, American Indians, Hispanic, Asian, and even women to have a chance. Just a, a chance of one of the districts out of five. Since 1822, members, since 1822, when Terrebonne Parish was established, every judge has been a white male. No woman, no minority. 
We're just asking for an opportunity to have a voice in a possibly electing one. We are not where we were 50 years ago, but we're not where we need to be. I ask your support for this vote. Thank you. Representative Baldone, with the final passage of the bill. Remain your favor, final passage of the vote, Jay. Those opposed, vote nay, and the clerk will open the machines. Members, vote your machines. Are you through voting? Representative Burns, no. Are you through voting? Representative Tim Burns, no. Representative Champagne, no. Representative Hoffman, no. Representative Feckley, no. Are you through voting? Clerk will close the machines. 48, 51 days, and the bill has failed to pass. Well, there you have it. A lot of back and forth on that. Like I said, the bill failed 51 to 40. So for this session, at least, what I'm told, it has died. Will it resurface? Who knows? But that remains to be seen. Certainly, though, a lot of, I guess, strong feelings on both sides one way or the other, and it was certain, certainly something we covered here at HTV. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we have a Women in Government segment here on HTV. Dr. Laura Battle interviewed Secretary of State Caroline Fayard. It's all next. 